Ryan here from Ultimate Upland. Uh, if you've been following along this spring, you know that we've planted a food plot and cover for a quail restoration project uh, that we're trying to do in a micro conservation type of way. Uh, I've got my helper here today, and uh, now it's time to build our pen. The uh, food plot is growing nicely. Uh, we've been blessed with a decent amount of rain, and so we've got to get our pen together so that we can get our birds on our plot and imprinting on our area, which we hope to be their home base. Uh, so we stopped by the home improvement store today, got our basic supplies. Uh, we're gonna show you how we put this pen together. Uh, it's really a cost-effective way to make a pen. Uh, we're hoping it does the trick, keeps the predators away, but keeps these birds in our area until we're ready to release them. So uh, follow along, we're getting ready to put her together. Well, the basic shape of our pen is just five feet by 10 feet. We've got treated two by sixes that we've made a base frame out of. Unlike a lot of uh, game bird pens, this pen is gonna sit directly on the ground. Um, so we're keeping it very simple. Uh, we've put cleats in the ends, uh, and now all we've gotta do is, is screw our, our, our uh, long boards into the cleats themselves, and we'll have our base frame made. Um, I know that probably seems like there's gonna be a, a, an easy way for predators to get in around under this pen, but we've got a little solution figured out for that as well. So we'll go ahead and screw this together, and then we'll uh, go to the next step. So we've got our frame put together. Now we're gonna make the uh, structure for the netting to go over top. And we're just using this three quarter inch uh, flexible PVC uh, that you find in a plumbing department. Um, and it makes a nice little arch over the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure every two feet on this frame, uh, drill a hole into the frame, and go ahead and, and we'll stick the PVC directly into it. Uh, and. Uh, we should have a nice framework then to drape our uh, drape our netting over. So that's the next step. We'll get to it. Okay, so we've got our frame, and now. Zachary has drilled all our holes and we've got our arches set up. As you can tell, we're not going for rigidity and sturdy arches right now. This pin gets its, gets its rigidity from the netting that goes over top. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drill holes around the frame that we can zip tie the netting to, and then we'll zip tie the netting over the top of the arches. So when you have all that zip tied together, that's where your rigidity should come from in the, in the pin. We're not trying to build a pen. Understand that this is a temporary enclosure for these birds. We're gonna take it down, and the hope is, is that we can use it somewhere else next year. So what we wanna do is we're not trying to build a, a, a rigid, sturdy, permanent pen. We want something that is going to bend, but not break. It's gonna keep the predators out, the birds in, but it's, but it's not going to be something that is permanently anchored to the ground. So that's the theory that we're working on. We've got to drill the holes around the outside now so that we can zip tie the netting. Uh, so that's the next step. Okay, so we've got our, our frame drilled for our zip ties, and now we're just test fitting our net. This is just a nylon net. Um, it's, it's a one inch mesh. Uh, this happens to be 25 by 25, so we're gonna have plenty extra. And, and really what we're working on here is once we secure it around to the arches and also to the frame, we're gonna leave the excess draped and then stake it into the ground. And what this gives us then is it gives us a foot, a foot and a half of, of space where if something wants to try and dig under it, they're gonna to have to start way further out than the frame. So no, we don't have a base to this frame, but it allows our quail to actually be in the environment on the ground foraging for food because uh, we're trying to train these birds to become wild. 
So that's really what we want. But the risk of that is that something could get in under the pin and, and, and be right into our, our quail. So to prevent that, we're leaving this overlap. We're gonna stake it to the ground and then if something wants to try and dig, they're gonna to have to dig a long way in order to get into that pen. And I've got my little helpers here to really watch to make sure that the predators don't get at these birds. Uh, so now that we've got everything kind of set, test fitted, uh, Zachary and I are gonna move this up to the, uh, to the food plot. We'll get a look at how that's coming along and show you where we're gonna put this. Well, we've got our, we got our new helper here and we've got our pin, a framework of it, moved up to our food plot. So we're coming up here to the food plot that we planted over Memorial Day week. Uh, and you get to see the growth that we've got and uh, kind of the next steps here. So here's our plot that we planted. It's about a half acre stretches out there to that tree line uh, and in between, shouldered between these two sets of pines and there's a little orchard over there. Uh, the seed mix that we planted is a combination of sunflower and millet, sorghum. And uh, you know, we've got good height coming right now. We've had a lot of good rain. So the food plot's coming along really well uh, and happy with the progress there. We put three brush piles that we've built in, two of them over on that end and this big one out here, which we're calling the home base brush, pr brush pile. This is where we want the quail to feel like they're at home. And here's our framework and our pen. When you build a pen like this, obviously you don't have to go red, white, and blue, but we thought since the force coming up, we'd go ahead and be patriotic about it as well. So really next step is we're gonna stretch the netting out over with our little helper. She's gonna get inside and feed our zip ties back out to us. A Couple things that you need to see that we put on the pen as well. Put a little roof section in here. Uh, just a little two foot section of roofing so that these birds are gonna have a way to get out of the rain and the elements. Um, the, the area is sheltered and should still keep them fairly sheltered from the wind, uh, so they shouldn't have a problem there. And then the other thing that we did that we didn't show you down on the drive is we actually cut out a couple of small sections here. You can see on the sides and we've taken a two by four and placed over top of those sections. Uh, those are our exit holes. So. When these birds get old enough, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loose one of those screws and, 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 and open the, the two exit and entry points. We're gonna leave this pen here to have a, safe, have a safe place for these birds to go to, but you can see it faces directly here to our, to our thicket. So we're gonna build these, these uh, some of this thicket right up against the pen so that the birds make an easy transition directly from, the, from their pen into this thicket. And they'll know that the, where to go, where to be home. So that's the plan. We've got to cut a little bit of this uh, brush out of the center. So that's the next thing. And then we'll have our little helper help us out with the zip ties and get our netting strung over the top. Okay, well, we've got the pen zip tied, all except for the far end where my little helper is gonna be able to get in when we put the birds in. Really the last step is we're gonna stake the netting around and kind of zip tie any holes or loose areas up, but it's about 85 degrees and really sunny out here this afternoon. So we're, uh, we're pretty much done for the day. We're gonna let the food plot that we tramped down kind of stand back up a little bit. And then uh, sometime after the 4th of July, we'll get our quail and we'll be off to the races. But it's been fun so far. Somebody's looking forward to raising quail. All right, we'll check back later.